What is going on YouTube is Randy Talks Mets in the Building and this video is going to be about basically uh, the Mets losing game one to the Washington Nationals. I'm going to talk about it real quick. But yeah, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, you know, I welcome all Mets fans and baseball fans to the channel. You know, this is where I talk uh, Mets baseball, Mets content, and just baseball in general, to be honest, and give my opinions. And yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe, give my reactions. So definitely, we're going to get into it. Uh, game one, you know, the game, the, the Mets uh, have a lot of games against the Washington Nationals and the Miami Marlins, you know, um, they were seven, seven games back uh, before this game and uh, seven and a half games back. And uh, after getting, to be honest, swept by the Giants and then uh, going two and 11 in the 13 games that they played against the San Francisco Giants and the Dodgers, it really put them in a in a really a, a pickle, man, a bad position to be honest. And this has this really has brought the team down to be honest. This has shown the team's true colors in a way. Um, nobody is hitting on this team. Dominic Smith is not, and nobody is having a good year for their numbers except for I would say Alonzo. But yeah, let's definitely talk about Alonzo. I mean, Pete Alonzo has been the most consistent Met, to be honest. You know, he's batting like 260, so he isn't so... It, the average ain't amazing. But I would say 29 home runs. Alonzo has been the most productive Met and consistent Met out of all the Mets in 2021. And Dominic Smith, everybody's having a down year, to be honest. Dominic Smith having a terrible year. Lindor's having a terrible year. Javier Baez just came to the team and... You know, he is what he is, a strikeout or a home run. He'll get you home runs, you know. Yeah, but uh, Michael Conforto sucks. And, yeah, man, to be honest, it, this has just been bad. But let's talk about game one. Um, Rich Hill versus Pablo Espina. And Rich Hill has not really – he has not got that win as a Met yet. You know, that one win and – but he's but he has he has not pitched so bad, but you know you're gonna get if you if you are the Tampa Bay Rays and you have Rich Hill out there, you know you're probably gonna give up some runs and but you are gonna make it up and you're gonna win some games and they definitely won some games for Rich Hill when he was in Tampa and obviously the Mets just don't score so if Rich Hill gives up a lot of runs, we lost the game to be honest. But Pablo Espina. Goes in. Uh, the, uh, he's having a terrible August. Um, ERA oh, over five. One of the worst. One of the worst uh, um, Augusts he's had. And to be honest, the Washington Nationals gave up on the season, guys. To be honest, so the fact that they gave up on the season, and they're facing the Mets. And guess what? Do you guys think that the Mets actually turned it around? No, guys, the Mets did not turn nothing around. Javier Baez hit a home run, and that was the only run of the, the, the game for them, to be honest. Um, they didn't have much opportunities. Pablo Espina looked like Max Scherzer out there. That's how he was looking to the Mets. And the thing is about the Mets, he kept pitching the same slider to freaking uh, Dominic Smith. And he just keep uh, the approach for the Mets is just it looks so bad. You look at the lineup like Brandon Nimmo, Francisco Lindor, uh, Pete Alonso, Javier Baez, J.D. Davis. Uh, my goodness, Michael Conforto. Uh, we don't even have James McCann right now. So Thomas Nito and then the, the pitcher. That was pretty much the lineup. And guess what, guys? The lineup didn't do much. It didn't do much. Francisco Lindor hit a two-out triple, and, and that was pretty much it. So it was just the big hits with the, the two-out triple that did not lead to anything, to be honest. And then Javier Baez hit a home run. So the Mets lost the game 2-1, to one, and Dominic Smith made an error and on a pop-up that... Uh, he just didn't catch. And to be honest, Dominic Smith, I swear I do not like him. He needs to get off my team. He needs to get off the Mets because he's pissing me off every time I watch him. He's not an outfielder, guys. He's so nonchalant when he's out there. I'm not going to lie. His arm has gotten better. And he's gotten better at left field, but he's not a left fielder. That's it. At the end of the day, he's not a left fielder. So, you know what I'm saying? 
but yeah, I'm gonna I'm 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 gonna get into I'm gonna get into after after I finish. But basically, uh, Javier Baez was the only run of the game. Um, the two runs that the the Nationals got was from a Josh Bell home run, and um, actually the first run was Juan Soto hitting a, a force out ground out um, with bases loaded that Pete Alonso could have actually thrown to home. And cut off the runner, and that would have been a big out for the Mets. But Pete Alonso, you know, he didn't. He looked at the base. Thomas Nito, the catcher, said throw to first. So obviously Thomas Nito did not have the confidence in Alonso to throw to first. So he didn't feel like he would have got him. So um, Pete Alonso took the out at first. And it was 1-0. to zero. Yeah, Pete Alonso took that first out, um, you know, and he could have thrown home, but Obviously, the catcher did not, Thomas Nito did not have the confidence in him for to get the out, but Peter Alonso took the out, and he took the safe out or whatever, and it was 1-0, to zero. and, you know, it's so, it's so bad when the team doesn't score runs, so you have to, like, try to, they should have probably tried to cut off the runner, Alonso should have thrown a home, but obviously, they was playing safe, and Peter Alonso, uh, you know, he got the four, he got the he got the safe out and it was one to zero. Then Josh Bell, a guy that's two for thirty three against the Mets this season, hit an RBI single, uh, with um, with one out and a third and first. And yeah, so I mean, the Mets lost the game two to one. Javier Baez had a home run, opposite field home run. Uh, it was a bomb. You know, he hit it. He 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 was sitting on that fastball and he got it. But to be honest. Guys, the Mets just look so freaking bad. Like I'm, I, it's so hard to watch this team. You know, you're going against the Nationals and the Miami Marlins, and you think they're gonna win some games. And <laughs> Lord have mercy, they lost this game one, and they lost it so bad. Uh, Francisco Lindor is probably the only guy that I liked um, from from that game. That he, I, the 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 swings that he took, I really liked. Um, he looked more like Francisco Lindor. He looked like he was trying to do something. He had, he had a pretty good at bat. You know, he had a, a triple that didn't lead to nothing. But still, he still uh, Lindor is very important to the Mets. Um, to be honest, in the future, and right just right now, to be honest. But yeah, now the Mets are eight and a half games back because the Braves defeated the Giants and you know the Phillies defeated the Arizona Diamondbacks. So. Now the Mets are eight and a half games back, and I don't know if this season is salvageable for the New York Mets. We, we have no chance against the wild card. We have no chance. There's no way that they're going to get to the wild card with the Dodgers and, and, and Cincinnati. And there's no, there's no way possible. And it's just it, there's so many better teams in the New York Mets, so that's the really problem. The Mets are just not good, guys, to be honest. And it's, it saddens me to say that, but the New York Mets are just not a good team. And it shows our true colors that we are not a good team. And now I'm going to talk about, <laughs> I don't know, like, let's talk about what what can the Mets do? What should the Mets do in the, you know, when, when the season is done? Because they have to look at this whole team and look at everybody on this team and say, obviously, Lindor and Alonzo are not going nowhere. Jeff McNeil? I'm not going to lie. I like Jeff McNeil a lot. But this season has been very disappointing. Uh, I don't know. What, uh, he has not looked like himself. And the thing about Jeff McNeil is the, t- the, the teams against him have learned how to play against him. So all those opposite field hits that he used to get, they are right there. T- and, and that's pretty much that, another reason why I feel that Jeff McNeil, he hit the ball hard, but he was really trying to do that opposite field hit that he always has to the left field. And, and now the teams are, 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 are you know, baseball teams are smart, so they defended it. And now, you know, but let's talk about Michael Conforto. Michael Conforto, you know, he's not going to get, he's not going to get, he's not going to get a lot of money from nobody. So, I mean, to be honest, I don't know what the Mets are going to do. I don't know if they're going to get him a qualifying offer or I don't know, but I would say no Syndergaard. If you heard the news, he's only able to throw a fastball and a changeup throughout the whole season. And right now, he's pitching in Brooklyn and the Cyclones right now. And it's right now uh, September, almost the end of September. Or we're not, we're not, no, actually, we're in August. So 
almost the end of August, and we're about to go in September. So, guys, the season is not it's not looking salvageable at all. The Mets look like such a bad team. Uh, the bullpen it, it's it's not the the issue. It's the offense, man. It's the offense. The offense is so freaking bad. And you know what I'm saying? If you guys have like solutions, like you guys have like comments, let me know, man. Cause I feel like I don't know, like I don't know what to do with this team, to be honest. I don't know what to do with this team at all. This team is just bad. But yeah, guys, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. This has been Randy Talks Mets, and I hope you enjoyed the video. But yeah, guys, I definitely have more videos coming up soon. This has been Randy Talks Mets, and I'm out of here.